Hello, my name is Kainton, the Tech Pro, and I'll be happy to teach you how to implement or how to understand relationships in Hibernate using Spring Boot. So I'm illustrating it using two tables. We have the department table and the student table. So we have the intuition to be that in the department, there can be many students. So we can say one department, many students. And also in the student side, we can have one uh, many students, one department. So that's how that is called many many to one. That is many students can be in one department. Already you know that in SQL this will be a bit easy because you simply go to the student table and simply add the department. So you simply go to the, the student table and add department's ID and that's all. But we cannot really do this in Hibernate. So let's go and see how it actually works. So here I've set up two uh, classes, the department class, and I annotated it with add entity annotation so that I will allow Hibernate, allow Hibernate to manage uh, creation of the tables for me. And also the ID field is annotated with add ID. In the same way, the student's uh, class is annotated with add entity and the ID field is annotated with add ID. Of course, I have the constructor. I also have the getters and the setters. So I'm going to run this application and then let's see what tables are actually created. I've also set up H2 database and this is a setting for H2 database and the database name is CoolDB so that we can actually go to the H2 console and see what tables are created for us. So at this point, I'm going to run this application and we are going to see what tables are created. At this point, there is no relationship defined between these two entities or these two classes. So let's go to the H2 console now that the application is running and let's see what is happening there. So if I go to HTTP localhost and I want to go to H2 console and now the name of the database is CoolDB. CoolDB. So I'm going to just test connection and connection is okay. And I say connect. So at this point, you can see that we have the department table has been created with ID, description, and name. And we also have the student table have been created with ID, first name, and last name. So everything is working perfectly. The challenge now is that there is no relationship between them. How do you tell uh, Hibernate that department can have a list of students? Again, that is very easy. Just go to Spring. And in department, we simply say, that it should also have a list of students. So I'm going to just come down here and say list of students, students, and it's going to be a private member variable. Permit me to move it to, let me just move it to this point. So at this point, we've made a first move in adding relationship to our database. So at this point, uh, we now have list of students. And now let's run it so that we actually see what is happening under the hood. Let's see what changes will be made to our tables in A2 console. Now we've told the, uh, Hibernate that a department can have many students. And now we are having an error, and that error is simply telling us that we've actually missed out one annotation. So it says nested section could not determine type department for columns uh, students. Okay, so we have, what we are going to simply do is to specify here, we say one department, many students. So simply say add one, two, many. So this is what you need to do. And you are telling Hibernate that this is a one-to-many mapping, okay? So I'm going to go ahead to run it again. And at this point, it runs, and let's see, and it runs and starts successfully. So let's see what changes has been, has been made in the table. So if I go to refresh this table, and I connect, and I go to the department table, you can see that we have Department table is okay, and that is fine. But additional table has been created called department student. So what is happening here is that department table is creating another uh, table uh, called department student that actually handles this mapping. 
All right, let's see what next to do. We are going to solve this problem after now. Now we've told the department table that it can contain a list of students. Now we are going to go to the students table and tell students that it belongs to a department. So to do that, we are simply going to also add a private variable called department. So we are telling Hibernate that a student belongs to a department. And as you would know, the relationship here is going to be many to one, right? Because we have in the department, we have one to many, and in this case, we have many to one. So we have at many to one, okay? All right. So at this point, we are going to also run it, and let's see what changes we have. This is going to really be an interesting thing to see. So let's see. So in this case, both tables can manage the relationship. So let's see what happens. So I'm going to go back to H2 console. I'm going to refresh and I'm going to connect. Boom. So we have departments. We have department, department ID and description and department have created department and students table. Now students have also added a field here called department ID. So this is a way that students is trying to manage the relationship by specifying the department ID, which is an integer. All right, so now we have three tables, but the question now is, we, do we actually really need this second table called department students? Well, the answer is no. To get rid of this table, we are going to tell the department uh, entity that it should not worry about creating a table. Since we have this, the department ID added in the student table, more or less saying that the student is handling the mapping. And we are going to tell the department that don't worry, the mapping is done by the student. So how do we do that? We go to the department entity at this point, and we are going to say maps by equals the parts Mess, right? So what is happening here is that we are telling the department table that the mapping should be done by the department field of the student entity because in the student entity we have the department field and we are telling Hibernate that the mapping should be done by the student and it should not worry about creating any table for us. So at this point if I run this code the second table that has been created by the department will be get Will, be, will, be, will no longer be there because the mapping is no longer handled by department but by the student's entity using the field department ID. So let's go ahead to check what is happening here right now. So I'm going to refresh this and I'm going to connect. And at this point, you can see that that second table created by the department is no longer there. So the department is simply saying, okay, I understand. I'm not handling this relationship. Students, please handle it. So in that way, department is not going to create an extra table. And students is going to say, yes, I'm happy. I'm going to handle this relationship. And the way I'm going to handle it is by adding one more uh, field to my fields or to my variables. And that field is going to be department ID that represents the foreign key here. And this, this field maps this table to this table. So I hope you've understood how one-to-many and many-to-one relationship works in Hibernate. If this is the case, please leave me a comment and also like my video. If you've not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. And if you have any question, uh, leave it for me and I'm going to attend to you.